The global coronavirus cases is nearing a green milestone of 20 million some seven months after the first case of coronavirus had emerged in the Chinese city of Wuhan. Our southern neighbors, India has been one of the worst hit nations by coronavirus in recent days, while many countries have also reported a second wave of the virus as COVID-19 has refused to relent some since emerging in late December last year. Good morning, I'm Amar Singh Pradhan and these are the headlines of the hour. The number of COVID-19 cases in the country climbs to 22,592 as 378 individuals test positive for the virus yesterday. Their tally stands at 73. Citizen Investment Trust all geared up to introduce public pension program in a bid to bring workers from unorganized sector under pension scheme. Protesters in Beirut storm government ministries during a fresh demonstration over Tuesday's massive explosion that had left at least 150 at dead. And Barcelona and Bayern Munich through to the Champions League quarterfinals with comfortable victories, Chelsea Napoli crash out. Kathmandu once again registered the highest single-day spike among different districts with 56 new cases detected yesterday as 378 individuals tested positive for the virus. This takes the total number of COVID-19 cases in the country to 22,592. Speaking at the press briefing yesterday afternoon, a spokesperson for the Health Ministry, Dr. Jagaswar Gautam, informed that 7,788 sample tests were carried out through PCR in the past 24 hours, among which 378 tested positive in 32 different districts. 56 infections were reported from Kathmandu, 55 in Persa and 49 each in Morang and Bake. 25 individuals tested positive in Persa along with the mayor of Badurmai and six uh, health workers. Likewise, 16 new cases were also reported from Birgans and 33 from Biratnagar. Three cases each were reported from Bhaktapur and Lalitpur in the valley. Meanwhile, 499 individuals registered full recovery and were discharged from various hospitals in the uh, past 24 hours. This takes the total recovery in the country to 16,313. Dr. Gautam further added that 6,206 individuals are kept in isolation, whereas 10,792 are kept in various quarantine centers. Meanwhile, the death toll due to COVID-19 stands at 73. Three municipalities of Siraha have imposed lockdown until mid-August. The lockdown has been imposed by three municipalities of Siraha for another eight days to minimize the spread of the virus in community level, which led to the death of a man. A notice has been issued declaring a shutdown of market shops and transport services. Meanwhile, the local government has allowed the vehicles with government permits to enter the, enter the area. The vehicular movement has also been halted on Mahindra Highway. Likewise, the District Administration Office Nuakot has announced a prohibitory order in Bidur municipality and six other rural municipalities for 10 days from midnight yesterday. The entry to Nuakot district has also been prohibited. A COVID-19 infected woman who was identified by contact tracing led to identification of four more infected individuals. An extensive prohibitory order has been announced in Liku and uh, Suryagadi rural municipality, including Bidur municipality. Meanwhile, restrictions have been announced simultaneously in various wards in uh, Belkot Gadi and more than half a dozen wards in Panchakanya, Kakani and uh, Sibapuri rural municipality. Some 5,000 people had returned from the Indian cities uh, in Palpa in the wake of coronavirus pandemic. However, only 50 individuals are currently in quarantine center at Palpa. Many infected people have also returned to their residences after re re registering full recovery. Just a month ago, when Palpa's uh, Purvakola rural municipality faced a dearth of isolation center, some schools were used to isolate infected individuals. Likewise, when 93 people tested positive in Palpa's Nisdi rural municipality, there was no isolation ward to keep them. Rampur municipality also faced a lot of constraint in managing isolation center of 117 infected people there.
Among the 560 infected, Padwa registered only a single death, while the rest of the people returned home after full recovery. Meanwhile, local residents have complained that many people who had gone to Lumbini Medical College, Tansen Nursing College, among others, were returned without proper testing. When the health office conducted swab test of 118 people in Palpa's Tansen Bazaar, all the reports had come negative. Citizen Investment Trust is all geared up to introduce a public pension program in a bid to bring workers from unorganized sector under pension scheme. People under the scheme are required to deposit a monthly amount of 500 rupees or more to be liable for pension returns. We have more in this report. The government two years ago had introduced a social security plan with a lot of fanfare that had targeted employees from the organized sector. There are over 12,000 employers and there are 170,000 workers listed with the scheme. Meanwhile, the government's Employees Provident Fund has over 13,000 civil servants listed with over 400 million rupees deposited in the fund. Citizen Investment Trust is now all poised to bring pension scheme for workers from the unorganized sector and self-employed individuals. The Investment Trust has formulated a work plan to implement the program from 19th of September this year. Employees listed with the Social Security Scheme can also avail themselves of this pension program. Farmers, small store owners, small-scale businesses, self-employed individuals and housewives are most likely to avail of the pension scheme introduced by the Citizen Investment Trust. There is also an added provision in the public pension program of withdrawing a two-month deposit amount along with interest. Government's health data reveal an increase of 17,000 cancer patients in Nepal every year. As per the study, smoking consumption of pesticide-laden food have mainly contributed to the rise in the number of cancer patients. We have more in this report. A study conducted by Nepal Health Research Council says that the number of cancer cases in women is greater than in men. The cancer-related cases is relatively high in Kathmandu Valley. Out of every 100,000 population in the valley, 95 males and 98 females have cancer. The number is far less in Tarai with 47 males and 44 females out of every 100,000 suffering from cancer. The study was conducted in the Tarai district of Siraha, Saptari, Dhanusha and Mahotari. The Kathmandu Valley has more cases of breast cancer among females, while males mainly suffer from lung, prostate and stomach cancer. The council has prepared the report on the basis of data collected from community health workers and organizations involved in detection and treatment of cancer. According to the report, cancer is mostly seen in males ranging from age group of 70 to 74 years old and females ranging from age group 65 to 69 years old. There are an estimated 100,000 cancer patients in the country. And in our public voice segment, we had asked the farmers of Paddy Super Zone in Chapa's Kanchan Kowal, what's your view on the unavailability of urea fertilizers during the farming season? Let's take a look at what they have to say. अबे <laughs> Pilihlah 
तीनटे सरकार को आँखा किसान मत पर्या किसान संबंधित डीलर में सहकारी में जहाँ जहाँ रासायनिक मल उपलब्ध होने दिन धाउन पर्ने अवस्था घर को काम छोड़े राज्य के मल बेला में स्टोक कर दिया थी किसान ने अलग दुख भोग् पर्ने थे न दवाई न मल छ न बिऊ छाई छाइन And it's now time for our segment, Public Polls, where it texts us with their opinion. Public Polls. And your question is, what might be the reason behind businesses hiking the price of sugar on their own? And your options are option A, unable to cope with demand. Option B, nexus with the monitoring authority. And option C, unaware consumers. The voting is 